In the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 37 through 38, it says, The harvest truly is plentiful, but the labors are few. Therefore, pray the Lord of the harvest to send out labors into His harvest. And I want to share a message called Leaders of True Commitment. Jesus brought a new way of ministering the gospel. He demonstrated that the most important thing is for leaders to be involved with the people in order to be able to get a grasp for their need and that way be able to help them. Jesus himself, he was seeing firsthand that multitudes of people that were roaming all over the world without knowing where they were going on another hand, he could see the religious leaders that they were not interested for the people, but they would allow their ego to puff up and to lord over the people that they should be leading. He could see that the right kind of workers were few, and therefore he gave them guidance through prayer that they would ask the Father to raise laborers into the harvest, people who would have a heart full of sincerity, committed and focused, that God could stir in every single one of us a passion to raise leaders who are committed to make the work of God great. In the experience that I had after I was a victim of an attack in the street where I was stabbed in the chest that scraped my heart, and for that reason, I was dead for 30 minutes. I was able to run for a block and at the end of the block I completely fell dead when my body hit the ground my spirit remained standing and then I realized that I was not on my own I could see thousands of angels who were making a long tunnel and it started from way up to way down low and I was right in the middle of it I could see them they were clothed in white with long hair and their faces were shiny and every single one of them were singing a hymn of worship to God in a heavenly language and for every tone that came out of their mouth the joy within me was growing ever more and then I realized uh, the situation that I was experiencing because I knew that it was not a dream and I looked at myself and I looked at the angels and I looked up and I understood that at the end of it they were were going to lead me to encounter God. And I understood that I was physically dead and I worried because I felt that I was empty-handed. And I cried out to the Lord with all the strength of my soul, saying to Him, Lord, it is not possible that you would allow me to die. This is an attack from the devil to cut me off ahead of time. I pray that just as you overcame death, I pray that you give me the power to overcome it in your name. When I finished my prayer, I opened my eyes in my body and I gave thanks to God because He gave me a second chance. There was an American man walking on the beautiful beaches of Mexico as the sun was setting. As he walked along the shore, he saw a Mexican man walking as well from far away. The only thing was that the Mexican man would crouch down, pick something up, and throw it into the sea. He did this over and over. As the American approached him, he saw that the Mexican man was picking up the starfish that had been left on the shore when the tide was out. The American continued to observe the Mexican and was quite confused. So he asked, what is it that you're doing? The Mexican responded, I am throwing the starfish back into the sea where they belong. If they do not return to the water soon, they will drown due to lack of oxygen. I don't understand, the American replied. There are thousands of starfish on the shores of the beaches. It's impossible to get to all of them. There's just too many. Don't you realize? that this is just one beach of the hundreds there are in Mexico? Don't you realize this is impossible? And that at the end of the day, what you're doing won't make the slightest difference? The Mexican man crouched down again, picked up a starfish, threw it into the sea, and told the American, well, I made a big difference for that one. 
Please follow me in the following prayer. Dear Lord, thank you so much because you are the most loving and kind being in the universe because you care for us in every single step that we take. Help us, O oh Lord, that we could continue fully in contact with you without ever deviating to the left or the right. I love you, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Please declare with me, truthfully, the harvest truly is plentiful, but the labors are few. Pray, therefore, that you send labors into the harvest. 